This is where the rubber hits the road, folks. We're taking our 20,000 foot view of our lives and turning it into actionable steps. Let's get started. Hey friends, it's Leanne and our journey into creating some new habits is just getting started. Last week, we took a 20,000 foot view of our lives and all the different areas of focus in our lives. If you didn't do last week's exercise, I encourage you to check out that video and resource right here and then come back to this video to learn how you can get involved into week two. And that's where we are, is week two, we're getting ready to dive deep. Now that we've looked at all the different areas of our life, we're going to identify a few specific goals and things that we want to work on over the next 30 days and those small actionable habits that would help us achieve that goal. But before we dive into this week's exercise, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified. I put out content for the meetings industry each and every week and I don't want you to miss a beat. Okay, so let's talk about how we take last week's exercise and now drill down deeper into identifying some habits that we want to change and starting that today and over the next 30 days. Through the exercise, you identified what areas of focus that you may want to work on during this time when we have a little bit more time to focus on our areas of habits and goals. Chances are the areas of focus you want to work on fell into a category like work-related activities or physical and health-related activities, family and relationships, and so on. Again, if you review the blog post that goes along with this video over at leannecalderwood.com, you could look at all the different categories that we have set up for the different areas of focus. In that blog post, I've identified some questions that you might want to ask yourself about that particular area of focus. For example, if you want to focus on mental activities and exercise, let's ask some questions about your current practices. Are you currently meditating? Are you currently reading nonfiction books each day? What do your social media and TV habits look like? Or are you spending enough time in your hobbies and creating that white space to dream with your passion projects? Once you've drilled down and asked yourself these questions, now you can start to identify perhaps some goals in this area and some habits that would help you achieve the goal. So for example, in mental health, if you chose that you would like to start to meditate each morning and clear your mind before you hit the work day, maybe now is a good time to start the habit of meditating each and every day for five to 10 minutes. So while that habit, that small habit of meditating every day for five minutes may seem like a small thing to do, long term, it's going to add up into more mental clarity, more mental health, and help you achieve the goal of having a happy, healthy lifestyle, and perhaps even a great morning routine. So now I'd like for you to take a look at your areas of focus, start to ask questions about that particular area of focus. Start to set some goals and create some actionable habits that you can tie to those goals to provide more joy and more health in that area of focus in your life. Once you've identified a habit, now you can start calendaring some time to focus on that habit. Set aside some time each and every day, be it in your online calendar, your written calendar, to spend time in that habit and purposefully think about what this habit is doing to achieve your overall goal. You may even decide to journal your journey and write down some thoughts about how you're feeling each and every day as you're expressing this new habit. At the end of the 30 days, you may decide that it wasn't long enough for you to fully grasp and fully achieve completion of that habit, and you may want to continue it for another 30 days. They say some habits only take 21 days to fully complete, but some can take as long as 250 days. So depending on your personality and the habit you've chosen, you may fall anywhere in that range. But regardless of where you fall in the range, I encourage you to keep going. If at the end of the 30 days, you feel it's time for another 30 days devoted to that habit, 
tack on another 30 days and continue to document your journey. But my friends, you don't have to be alone in this journey. If you're looking to celebrate this habit-breaking and habit-making time with a community of peers, then I've created that community for you. Should you decide to join me on this journey, not only will you receive a workbook that has some calendar and journaling pages, as well as some leading questions to help you identify what habits you want to work on, but you'll also get to chat with me and learn from one another once a week in a Facebook Live webinar. If you can't make the webinar, these are going to be stored in an online database that you can access at any time. In addition, that database is going to have other resources that you can download and use as you go through your journey. We're also going to come together in a private Facebook group to encourage one another, answer questions, and provide resources as well. Who knows, maybe the habit that you're working on has already been achieved by someone else and they can provide guidance and support for you as you're building your new habit. As I mentioned, all of these resources are going to be uploaded into an easy to access online resource library that you can reference at any time. This is lifetime access, my friends. So should you decide in six months to do another 30 day challenge, all the resources will be at your fingertips once again. To learn more, please visit this blog post over at leannecalderwood.com. All the details on how to join the community can be found there. There will also be a link to how you can get involved in the description below this video. So friends, if you're serious about a habit forming journey, this could be the time for you. And if this isn't the best time to take a deep dive into getting some new habits into your life, that's okay too. Timing is everything and this might not be the right time for you. I do highly encourage you to take a look at the resources and see if this would be something that would interest you. And finally, everyone, this time is not to be taken lightly. There are a lot of people susceptible to the COVID-19 virus, and I encourage you to shelter in place if that is what your government and health officials have encouraged you to do. If you can work from home, I encourage you to stay connected with your peers through Zoom meetings, through social media, and through online communities. And of course, if you and I have not connected yet on LinkedIn, make sure you find me over there and send me a quick note. Friends, wherever this video may find you today, I wish you well on your journey to creating a happy, healthy, and joyful life. Bye for now.